Meanwhile, here in L.A., today the families of hostages being held in Gaza came together to find support. The American Jewish Community of L.A. hosted them in Beverly Hills for a program of wellness and healing as they continue to fight for the release of their loved ones. 57 days in a dark underground tunnel. Namal Weinberg, the cousin of an Israeli man, Itai Seversky, being held hostage by Hamas terrorists, describing his unimaginable agony. Weinberg was among a group who came out for a special yoga practice in Beverly Hills to pay tribute to the victims and the hostages of the October 7th massacre in Israel. Nama tried to paint a picture of the horrors her cousin is experiencing. Imagine yourself, 57 days knowing that your mother was murdered and not knowing if the rest of the family is alive. 38-year-old Seversky was visiting his mother's home in Israel not far from Gaza when the mob of terrorists invaded the kibbutz where his mother lived. Itai was staying with his mother at her house when Hamas terrorists broke in and shot them both. Orit, Itai's mother, was killed right away. Itai was taken hostage after seeing his mom death and is held hostage since. Weinberg says their family was told recently by released hostages that Itai is still alive but suffering severe emotional stress. All the hostages that were held with him were released in the past week. He is now left absolutely alone, thinking he has no family to return to. Beverly Hills provides a unique setting for this tribute. It's one of the few cities in the U.S. where the entire city council is Jewish. The mayor says the city is majority Jewish as well. Our goal is um, to hear the stories and to give them a platform, a platform that can be amplified by Beverly Hills' reputation in the world. For the families who continue the excruciating wait for their loved ones to come home, every moment is an opportunity to share their story and to keep the pressure on for their release. We have only one mission in life, and we won't stop until the last hostage is back with his family. There are still more than 130 hostages being held by Hamas. Eight of them are Americans. Bridget